How many social touches? You are asking, when you ask that question, you're asking the wrong question. You shouldn't be asking how many social touches. You, the first question you need to ask is, how can I make deposits and add value? So I wrote this book as a way to make a deposit. So let's just say like number one, my first social touch is going to be get the book will change your life. Like that, that's, you got to figure out how can you create value and how can you, how can you make a deposit versus trying to withdraw money? It's all about making as many deposits in your prospects, helping them get what they want in life, helping them get a rich bank account, get whatever they need, their goals, their dreams. Remember the island analogy going from New York, Manhattan in the winter where it's snowing cold as shit and windy as hell to Hawaii, point A to point B. They're their biggest pain to their biggest goals and desires. So you got to, instead of thinking about how many touches should I use, think about how, how, how are you going to add value? So like I can um, get you the book. I can share with you a free strategy. I could do a free audit, like competitor audit. I can um, share an article or book or whatever article about improving their number one KPI, whatever their number one KPI is. And if you don't know what KPI is, it's a key performance indicator. So VP of marketing wants to drive more sales at the lowest cost per acquisition, right? So if I'm selling to marketers, I can share an article that says, hey, I know that you're spending $12 million on Google ads. Here's an article with a strategy that we wrote that you can use to improve your, turn your 12 million into 17 million versus your 12 million into 15 million. That's a, a way to do value. So like, I think you come up with a, a mind map of the value for your prospects. So, so I would recommend, this is how I brainstorm, mind map. So if I'm selling to the VP of marketing, what are all the ways that I can add value? This is chicken scratch, but you know, competitor audit, new strategy, new ideas, cost savings. Like there's so many different ways. Come up with all the ways that you can add value and then plan out your social touch campaign. Boom, 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 boom. So I recommend though, like to give you a straight answer because I hate when the sales authors and these sales experts give you bullshit that you can't execute, which a lot of them do respectfully, of course, because they've, I've read 250 sales books and they've all helped me become who I am today. But like none of them give you the word for word, hundreds of word for word scripts that you need to maximize sales. Like I get, I give you the word for word scripts for everything you need to do anything, right? So like, I don't wanna give you Josh the bullshit answer like, well, you gotta create value and you gotta figure out how to do value. Like if you really want a straight answer, day one, LinkedIn, connect compliment them. Dude, everyone will accept a connection request if you give a badass compliment. It's like going up to like, I, I've been with my fiance and my wife for uh, shit, 12 years. So I don't know how to pick up people at the bar or whatever. But you know, you're not going to go up to a bar and be like, hey, buy my watch or hey, come home with me right now. Like, you gotta open them up, like you you compliment them and then you talk about something, whatever, right? Like, I obviously I've been out of the game for, for way too long. Maybe Nick's been in the game uh, at all, but the whole point is everyone loves compliments. Psychologically, people love to be complimented. Like, no one will ever be like, I hate you for complimenting me, for telling me that my book is amazing. You come at me and you say, Brandon, I love your book. You are amazing, you helped me do X, Y, Z. Can you connect with me on LinkedIn? I will say yes. So you need to day one, do a LI connection request and I recommend a compliment. Then back off and day three, value slash deposit. Come up with a way to deliver value to your persona. And then day five, same thing. Make a value, make a deposit and then a call to action, book an appointment. And then it's just value, make a deposit. It's like repeat. You know, you deliver value, you make a deposit in your prospect to improve their lives for the better, and then you have your call to action, which is book an appointment.
that's what's up. So hope that answered your question, Josh, and uh, hopefully you found that of value.